tips, any, any expert tips on how you keep that steady hand to get that liner up there? Reminding the eye to do that bridge of Bardot, I'm glad you asked that question because I think that's what a lot of women ask. And I think that the bottom line with it is, you can actually, what people don't realize is you can actually lift your hand off, lift your um, brush off the lid. So I'm just going to show you a little example. Instead of trying to do that perfect line, maybe you've had coffee in the morning, maybe you're a little bit shaky, um, you can actually just take the brush and press it into the lash line. And what, it, what that does is it creates a natural line because your lash line is already a natural line. So if you just press the brush in and you can actually lift the brush off the lash line, press, pressing it in creates that perfect line by default. So it's an easy way to do it that most women don't realize that they can actually do very easily on their own. And with this eyeliner that I'm using, this Bridget Bardot eyeliner, I'm using a black one. At home, if you wanted to create a similar look but you didn't want it to be so harsh, you could use like a dark brown, a medium brown. That would be, that would give the same definition but just be a little bit more daytime or maybe just a little bit more everyday. It's a very nude um, color under the brow as a highlight. We call this the brow highlight up here. And then um, I use something, like you said, kind of shimmery, kind of pearly on the lid. And then we're just creating a slight contour in the crease with just a little bit of a medium color eyeshadow. Open for me, love. See how it just creates a bit of contour, but it's very, very muted. It's not a lot of color. So it's beautiful. And this is still good for a daytime look. The shimmer is back. I think that you can absolutely do shimmer um, at home for a daytime look. I think that you just want to be a little bit, um, a little bit more wary of how much of it you use. And we're doing a very bright lift. Um, as you can see, I'm sort of penciling in a really bright, like, fuchsia lift. At home, you might not be so likely to use such a bright color, but I definitely think that for the average woman, lip color is coming back. And so it's about actually not wearing a, a non-color color, but really putting a color on there, whether it's a plum, a mauve, a more peachy, corally color. Uh, but definitely color on the lip is back, and all the collections are emphasizing it this year. And it's still, it's okay for a daytime look? I think so, yeah. I mean, there's, there's so many variations of color on the lip that you could wear that are very very natural, very wearable. Um, you could tone this down and have it be more of a bronzy fuchsia color. It could be more plummy. Um, so, absolutely. I think that there's a lot of ways to wear color during the day. And what's that blush? A neutral? This is a new, uh, it's like a peachy, a peachy shimmery highlight. It's like the perfect natural glow there on that, isn't it? And I think there's something about peach blush that is so youthful. It's so young looking. It just looks like a, a little girl. And that's what I love about it. It's very radiant and very youthful. And this is the look for spring 2009, the Samora collection here at Smashbox Studios. Thank you, Nikki. Thank you. Thank you.